Hello, everyone. Um, hopefully you can all hear me well. I am privileged to go after the great news of Cairo 1.0, the release that all the developers are excited for. Um, we are also very excited for that release. We are Triality. Um, we're a knowledge sharing platform for Web3 developers. And uh, myself and my, my co-founder, Matt, are extremely excited to be part of the um, entire StarkNet ecosystem, full of so many great builders. We're so, so excited to um, get going on this journey. So we've recently released this uh, feature called uh, Cairo Mummies. It's a uh, learning module where you can learn all about uh, coding in Cairo. If you've ever gone through the, um, the fun process of crypto zombies, we kind of took their lead and are going to try to make this a lot better. So we have an early version out now. Uh, and there's going to be a lot more modules to come. We're going to be looking for community contributors. So also, if you're interested in the EdTech at all, um, feel free to reach out to us. We are um, uh, at Triality Org on Twitter, or you can reach out to me personally, uh, dgeising123. And um, we recently updated our, our exercises to Cairo uh, 0 0.10.0. So if you come check out our site, you will uh, be up to date on everything you're doing. And um, not to waste too much time, we're going to just jump into some coding exercises. Uh, we've been getting a lot of uh, requests for some challenging coding problems. So um, I promise you, one, this will be uh, entertaining. And two, uh, in the future, we'll have more fun coding problems like this. So these are the two problems that are out now. These are the two modules, uh, building some simple Cairo scripts and uh, working through your first array of re recursion. And we have a couple more modules in the process, as well as uh, one or two new courses that'll be out in October. Uh, for this demo in particular, um, shout out to Kano, uh, where we released a special um, demo just for him. So uh, let's jump into it. Okay. So for this one, uh, we're going to be building Pascal's, I'm sure at least some people know about Pascal's triangle, but uh, we're going to call it Pascal's pyramid in this case for the uh, for Cairo and Egypt and all that fun stuff. Um, and we're going to just show how we go about solving a somewhat re uh, difficult recursive problem in Cairo Live. So um, let's get started. So uh, on the left here, we just have a basic, uh, what is the overview of this problem, how to build the uh, Pascal's triangle, um, basically down the sides are ones, and then anything that's not down the side is the sum of the two digits uh, right before it and right after it. So this two is the sum of the one and the two, this three is the sum of the one and the two, this three is the sum of the two and the one, and you recurse down through the entire process. We've basically built a script where you can't touch anything above this line here, do not modify any code above this line. So we've built a bunch of assertions which are going to test the um, rows of this pyramid. So um, when this is released, if you try to fudge around with this, you won't be able to verify your answer and uh, pass the test. So make sure you only modify code below and we will release this problem later. So let's get started. So what we're looking for is we're looking to um, have all the assertions of the main function uh, pass is what we're looking for. So uh, we're going to make a function called Pascal triangle that's going to satisfy this recursive problem. So let's get started. So we're going to define our function. So angle. And um, we're going to pass in a, a felt, so for now a number, but we've heard that they're going to be ints in the future, so that'll be great. Uh, call this last row number. And we're going to return, as we can see here, an array. And in Solidity, an array is represented by a felt star. So we'll go through that. this function and then 
So as Rufus was talking about as well, um, in Cairo, you have to be careful with uh, variables. So I'm going to start off this function with an alloc locals. That's going to allow us to set uh, local variables. We'll build our first base, our first base case. Start really quick. And you can see that we have um, imported alloc. So I'm able to alloc an array. Um, I'm going to build our first array. And I'm going to assert array of 0 equals 1. And for our first base case, if with the new notation in uh, Cairo 0 0.10, you have to declare if, and then you put your parentheses instead of the old Pythonic notation. Um, you'll say something like if this last row num equals one, will return And I will do the same thing really quick for our second base case. So the second row of Pascal's triangle, we will just go through this out. Show you how the system works. Um, lastly, just so we, yeah, and basically what we'll do here, we can click verify answer and see what happens. Oh, we need to return. Say last row array for now. Make sure we're compiling correctly. And cool. We can see that we're getting some assertion failed on the third of uh, the third array and the third row, the first element is not equal to. We haven't said that. So our base cases are passing, everything's compiling, all good. So what we want to do now is we want to build a recursive function. So if you're familiar with Cairo, you know we need to pass down the size of the array and, and or the array, and then we'll also need some way to index into it. So let's pass in the current row index that we're on. And then we will recurse on a function. I'm going to call that function for now, create row. And this create row is going to take in our current row index. I'm going to take in the last row, so how far we're going to recurse until. And it's going to take in our array. And this one's going to return a, a also just like this. All right. Cool. Hopefully everyone's with me. I don't think I'll be able to get any feedback from you. So I'm just going to assume so. Um, from here, we need to give all of our types. So our current row index is a felt. Our last row number is also a felt. And our I'm going to call this our previous array now, because as we iterate through, we're going to uh, keep updating it. Uh, tonight, it is 12.47 uh, AM in uh, Pacific time, so a little late for me. Uh, again, we're going to start by allocating our locals. And at the end of this, uh, I'll open up for any quick questions anyone has as well about um, uh, any of the Cairo stuff. Um, so, First, we want to make a, a new array. So similar to this, I'm going to alloc a new array. Uh, once we alloc our new array, we know that we've gone through the first two base cases. So we're, we know that the first and the last elements can always be one. So we're going to set the new array of 0 
one. And we can also set the new array of our last uh, index, which is going to be um, our current row index minus one. So basically what we're doing now is we're building our edges and then uh, we can do that every time and then we'll recurse down building through the middle. So what we're going to do here is um, we are going to fill in the middle of these elements. So I'm going to need a new method. Uh, I'll call that fill in middle. We'll create that function together as well. Blank for now. And then um, assuming we filled in the middle, we need a stopping condition here. So stopping condition is current row index equals row. So um, in, in Cairo, if you notice, you always have to keep track of where you are in your, um, in your arrays because you can't use a dot length. For example, because we're using uh, all these pointers. Uh, so you always have to keep track of how you're going to stop. So we're keeping track of this by knowing what our last row is, our last row number, and where we currently are. So if this is the case, if current row index equals last row num, we will just return. Um, last row, I think is what I called it. Yep. Last row equals our new array. And should be good. And then besides that, we should uh, recurse on the on our current function. So we'll call create row with current row index. We need to update this so we're moving down our Pascal's triangle. We leave this guy the same because this doesn't change. This is our final goal. And then instead of passing in our prev, our, our new array becomes our previous array. Pretty much done. Now the last thing we need to do is create this fill in our middle. So let's create a function. So Middle. So fill in middle is going to be pretty similar to what we're doing here. We need uh, the column that we're currently on. So in this case, it'd be like column index one and column index two are what we need to fill in. So I'll call that call index result. We also need a, uh, a current row size. So that's just what our current row index is. Row felt. And then we'll need our current row, which is going to be uh, this new array, and we'll need our previous array. So I'll call that new r alt star and a prev alt star. And lastly, we're going to just like the other ones, return. Cool. So basically, we know for each row, we have our one set on the ends, and we're going to just be filling in these middle sections. Hopefully, double check, make sure there are no issues. Um, nope. Okay, great. No questions that I can see so far. Um, awesome. So, uh, So what we're going to do is we're going to uh, basically first build our base case for the middle. So we're going to say if um, current column index is equal to the current row size, then we're done, because that means we've uh, we've hit this this endpoint. If this equals current row size, well, actually the current row size minus one, because anything zero indexed, then we will return. We'll actually return this last row. Oh, 
Um, for actually this implementation, I will use, we can update uh, the new array in memory. So we can actually just update this guy. Oh. Um, sorry. Amazing. So starting with one is our current column index. Current row size is current row index. We have our new array. And we have our previous array. So uh, this starts at one. Uh, if it has reached this size, minus one, we know we can return. Otherwise, we're going to be updating this guy in memory. Cool. What I think will be cool, we're going to try to make this into a 3D uh, Cairo pyramid, true Cairo pyramid. Um, so let's finish up this problem first, though. Let val is going to be a felt. We're going to calculate how to get this three from the one and the two. So we know we have our previous array. And then we're building into our new array. So the previous array, if we're looking at this, this is index one. And so we need to get the values from index zero and index one. So we need to get the values of the things above and one before it and the current index. So what I would do is I would take a previous array of index one plus Previous array column index can be our value. Next, we need to uh, set that value to um, the correct index in our new array. So we need to assert new array, I called it new R of all index equals val. Uh, lastly, we just need to recurse. So we've asserted this once this hits the end we'll be done so now all we need to do is call fill in middle and what we're going to do is we're just going to um, increase this by one every time because everything else can stay the same this is the same row we're on this is the array the previous array so we're all good so it's going to be the call index one these Row size array and array. And if I go, I think that should be good. It looks like we've hit all our base cases. Let's see what you see what I got wrong. There's no way you get it right on the first try. Um, okay. It says so in our app we have a we're compiling the Cairo code in the background and then running it. So this is the Cairo compiler yelling at us saying there's some issue. This is saying there's some issue on assert new. Oh, just missing a semicolon. To verify the answer again, that the function must return must finish with a return. Uh, simple. And this one. Same with this one. Okay, so it looks like we are having an issue where, so this is a, a good live fun. Um, so we're having a, an issue where we're trying to expand a memory value at some value here that we don't currently have access to. So um, there's a couple of ways to debug our code um, for one. Uh, we can use the um, built-ins. So we're passing in a main, an output pointer, which allows us to serialize words. So if I had some trouble, like I am now, I can pass in an output pointer. So this is an important ar argument that I would pass through if I wanted to uh, Test some output. Say I just wanted to see a print. I would have to pass this through all of them. Actually, I think this. Uh, 
error is too big that we can't see the output. So I think I'll have to fix it first. We're still working on some of the uh, some of the nuances. Um, okay, so we go and we iterate through. We get our current row index, which is three. The last row num, which is passed through, and our array. Great. Um, we create our row. We create this. We set the oh, this is a problem. Uh, index one. There you go. And yeah, so you can see we have the program output printing, and we could have printed as well anywhere. So if we wanted to see um, like what this current row index was at any point, we could just serialize our word anywhere around here. But I think the issue was pretty simple. I was just uh, indexing into part of the array that we didn't have access to in memory yet. So um, this was the problem was we were setting this one step too far because the current row should only go to since it's zero indexed one before the size of the row. So that's what it would look like to solve a problem like this um, in our app. We're working on more and more um, program outputs, showing errors, showing assertion issues, and we're going to be building more and more tooling around uh, all these fun education modules. So we really hope we wanted to put this on as like kind of a pre-demo for this Vietnam um, exhibition and this whole SarkNet, SarkNet Vietnam event. Hopefully people can come check out the site, come check out, do some education for yourself, try out Cairo. You don't need to download anything. You can do it all in your browser and then, yeah, give us some feedback. Let us know what's working, what's not, and um, hopefully we can work with you. Um, and once uh, Cairo 1.0 comes out, we'll be ready to uh, update this all to, uh, to be fun for all of that. Um, that is pretty much it for us here at Triality. Um, from the team, do you guys have anything? Are there any questions that I can go through? Or, um, sorry, I don't have my thing up. If not, uh, we're all good. Um, but yeah, happy to happy to answer any questions or anyone in the audience has anything for anyone. Awesome. Okay. Thank you all. Very much appreciated.